At the end of the 19th century, reform-minded Americans were worried about the effects of city living. Cities, like Baltimore, were crowded. Work was increasingly sedentary and repetitive. So, led by advocates of outdoor recreation, the nation witnessed its first health craze. In this environment, cycling rose in popularity as not only a means of transportation, but also as a form of exercise. In Baltimore, dozens of cycling clubs hosted competitions and outings. This created opportunities for businessmen like Joseph Little Joe Wiesenfeld. Little Joe was a cyclist himself who, although only five feet tall, gained local fame at age 15 by racing his high wheel bicycle. In 1892, Little Joe opened a bicycle shop where he taught people how to ride. Wiesenfeld even sold a bicycle to H.L. Mencken, who later recalled how, Coached by one of Little Joe's salesmen, I learned to ride a bicycle. Little Joe was not alone. By 1916, one shop owner estimated that there were approximately 80 to 90 bicycle stores in Baltimore. With success selling bicycles, Little Joe expanded his business in 1896, moving to this three-story store that sold a wide range of sporting goods, from saddles to fishing rods. Yet Little Joe would continue to sell the product that made him famous, the bicycle. Today, new bicycle clubs and bike lanes suggest that cycling is once again rising in popularity in Baltimore. The building on the northwest corner of Baltimore and Howard Streets can remind Baltimoreans of their historic connection to the great outdoors.